Ezekiel chapter 18. I remember what Ezekiel is telling us. Remember what Ezekiel is showing us. Remember the reason Ezekiel is talking to us. He's telling us how to come out of bitter to better. And he says he begins with renunciation. He begins with rejecting something. He begins with pushing away something out of your life. He tells us in Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 23. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Have I any pleasure? This is God talking through Ezekiel. Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Says the Lord God, and not that he should return from his ways and live in the land. return from his ways and live in the land. To return. To reject. To repent. To repent. To turn away. To turn away. From everything that makes your life bitter. Ezekiel is telling us. Sin and suffering are connected. Sin and sickness are connected. Sin and bitterness are connected. Sin and evil are connected. Sin and bad luck are connected. And he says, tonight is a night of freedom. He says, I don't have any pleasure in the deaths of the wicked, in the suffering of the wicked. I don't have any pleasure in the poverty of the wicked, but I'm waiting for him to take the first step. Let him turn. Let him return. Let him call upon the Lord. Let him repent that he should turn from his weakness Wicked ways and leave. So come to the middle of verse thirty. The middle of verse thirty. It says, "Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin." E yipada ki esi yikro ni no gogo ireko jani. Did you hear about better life? Did you hear about the blessed life? How does that come? How does it come to you? How will negative change to positive? How will all those impossibilities of your life become possible? It's saying that you will repent and turn away from your sin. And look at verse 31 here. In verse 31 it says, cast away from you all your transgressions. Said, all your transgressions bundle everything together. Whatever you have done, that you have transgressed the word and the commandment of the law. He says, you cast everything away from you. You turn away from every evil sin. You say, bye bye completely. All those wicked acts, all those wicked utterances. And to all those wicked actions, I buy completely. He says you cast away from you all your transgression. Whereby you have transgressed, I make you a new heart and a new spirit. Why were you thou house of Israel? Even so, I teach you, for I have no pleasure in the death of him that dies. There are people that die prematurely. There are people that die another person's death. There are people that rush into death. And God is saying, why should you rush into death? With, with every, every kind of drink you have, if it is a, a terrible drug, you're killing yourself. But the Marijuana and the cigarette and the cigar, you're killing yourself little by little. With all the violence in your life, you're killing yourself little by little. 
are you exposing yourself to danger. Are you exposing yourself to premature death? And he says, you're going through a bitter life. And he's saying, but a better thing is waiting for you. Heaven has written a better thing for you. And God has written a better thing for you. And Emmanuel has come. Jesus Christ has come. And he brings better things for you. But you see Kelly saying, come out of that bitter life. And come out of that transgression. And come out of that transgression. And come out of that iniquity. And come out of that idolatry. And come out of that evil. Number one is renunciation. Renunciation. And when you renounce all that, you say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. I want to change. I want a transformation. I want a better life to come. And I'm taking the first step. That's why I'll be calling you to take that first step tonight. I know you are there, you want that better life to start. I know you are there, you want that blessed life to start. I know you are fed up with this suffering. You are fed up with all the oppression. You're fed up with all the bad things happening in your life. And you're listening to what Ezekiel is saying. As he said that it's in your hand. And that I will get out of the way. The eye that fights. The eye that dreams. The eye that commits fornication. The eye that goes into adultery. And the eye that is violent. And the eye that is in idolatry. And you say, yes, I know that's what you're being in the problem in my life. And tonight I come. And Christ is knocking at your door. He says, Emmanuel wants to come in. Christ wants to come in. Jesus wants to come in. Your Savior wants to come in. But I will have to pay. That I will have to bow. That I will have to submit. That I will have to surrender. I will say, yes, Lord, I come. Yes, Lord, I come. I leave darkness behind. I come to the light. I leave evil behind. I come to the goodness of the Lord. I leave all the magic behind. And I come to the power of God. And I leave all idolatry behind. And I come to Jesus. Jesus and Jesus only. He says that renunciation will bring a restoration in your life. Ezekiel chapter 33. Ezekiel is telling us how this better life will come. How this renewed life will come. How this greater life will come. Ezekiel chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 11. Ezekiel chapter 3. Say, Unto them, Ezekiel, go and tell them. Preacher, go and tell them. Peter can turn to better tonight. Your life in particular. Are you there? I said, are you there? I'm looking for you. I said, are you there? Peter will change to better tonight in Jesus' name. Now say unto them, as I live, says the Lord, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked should turn. The wicked should turn. That rigid eye standing there and stubborn there, let the wicked turn. The one that is following a bitter life, let this man turn. The one that is following a deadly trap, let this woman turn. Let the wicked turn from his way. And, and, he, and he, then and he live, it says, and uh, this person turn ye Turn ye from your evil way. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Therefore, thou son of man. 
Say unto the children of thy people, The righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. He says, well, my good things are better than my bad things. I go to church on Sunday. I worship one day of the week. But all the other six days, what's happening? I try to follow God only one day. I follow Satan six days. Even that one day, you say you go to church, you also go to other places. And the Lord is saying, look at what life is producing. What don't you turn today? Why don't you renounce today? Why don't you turn around today? I say, yes, Lord, today is the day of my transformation. Today is the day of restoration. Today is the day of salvation. Something good will happen to you today. I say something good will happen to you today. Look at verse 14 again. When I say unto the wicked, when I say to the wicked man, when I say to the wicked woman, thou shalt surely die if he turn from his sin. Build us people. You say, God said, thou shalt surely die. Uh, since the prophecy is there, I will die, and let me die. He said, no, you can change that tonight. We can change that bad dream tonight. We can change that bad destiny tonight. We can change that impossibility tonight. Because because it says, here is a secret. When I say to the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Look at what it says. If he will turn from his, from his sin, I do that which is lawful and right. If the wicked restore the pledge, I give again that which he has robbed. I walk in the statutes of life. Without committing iniquity, he shall surely live. He shall surely live. He shall not die. And none of his sins shall be but that he has committed shall be mentioned unto him anymore. He has done that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live. Life is coming somewhere there tonight. I said, New life is coming somewhere there tonight. Salvation is coming somewhere there tonight. Because you know what he's saying? You know what he's Ezekiel is saying? Number one, repent of all your sins. He says, look at them one by one. Uh -huh. That's a sin. That's transgression. That's iniquity. That's wickedness. That's disobedience against the word of the Lord. And you pack all of them together. You say, you are not for me, I'm not for you anymore. You turn away from all of them. You repent of your sins. How about you? You renounce idolatry. And all the violence and all the works of darkness. All the marking of your body. And putting charcoal on the body. All the things you hang on the neck. All the waistband. All the talisman. All the magic. You renounce them. You reject them. Everything that came from Satan. You say, no, I will not continue like that. Satan is for darkness. Darkness is for damnation. And once you have all those properties of Satan in your life, darkness, doom, and damnation will come. You, you repent of all your sins. You, you renounce say, idolatry and works of darkness. You remove all the objects of sin. 
Those hard drugs, objects of sin. That make you to transgress the commandments of the law. And that's the root of my problem. That's the reason for my problem. You will them far away from you. That's what you see can is telling us from the law. He said, like a bitter is going to turn to better. A darkness is going to turn to light. A sickness is going to give way to healing. A oppression is going to give way to liberation. A deliverance is going to come. It says, you must remove all those objects of sin and satanism. Then all the old associates. Associates who are sinning together. Associates who are doing evil together. You resist them. Say no, I'll no more go along with you. I will no more be in your company. I will no more be in your association. I resist everything coming from Satan. I resist everything coming from the devil. I resist everything coming from darkness. He says when you make up your mind. Enough of bitterness. Enough of suffering. Enough of sickness. And tonight, when Christ is bringing healing to your life, I bring in a change to your life. I welcome that change. I welcome that healing. I welcome the blessing. And the blessing will come tonight in Jesus' name. You return unto the Lord. You seek the Lord while he may be found. And call you upon him while he's near. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the righteous man is taught. And let him return unto the Lord. And the Lord will abundantly pardon. And the Lord will have mercy. Mercy is coming to you tonight. What is it? Their mercy is coming. What is she? Their mercy is coming. What is she? Their life is coming. What is she? There's something better is coming. And then you tell I get out of the way. Emmanuel wants to come in. Emmanuel, I said Emmanuel wants to come in. Emmanuel, Emmanuel is Jesus. Emmanuel, Emmanuel is Christ. Emmanuel, he is the Savior. He is the healer. He is the deliverer. He is the redeemer. I get out of the way. That individualism get out of the way. And let Jesus come in tonight. Better life is starting. I said better life is starting. Better life is starting. What is better life? I said, where is better life coming? I said, where is better life coming? Are you serious about that? I said, are you serious about that? It will come. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Say for yourself, Lord, I believe. Point number two now. The restoration of a blessed life. The restoration of a blessed life. Ezekiel is saying, take that first step. Ezekiel is saying, make that renunciation. Ezekiel is saying, count one. Then two will follow. If you don't count one, two will not follow. Ezekiel chapter 34. Here is number two. I have restoration tonight. I said I have restoration tonight. Say for yourself, I have restoration tonight. You see